pretty nice day. We're gonna go Cape Cod. We're on the way. It's still moving. Make a turn. Soon we're gonna arrive, but not yet. Now we see the bridge. Here this is the Cape Cod Bridge. So we're we about to arrive the Cape Cod. There's a famous like uh, sign so at the end. We go through the bridge. This nice view. Cut in the bushes. The river and they river. You nice. see it now. Okay, okay let's green. turn. I'm looking forward to see that famous grass. Okay, we're going out the bridge. Now we see the grass. Okay, so this is famous Cape Cod grass. Did you see it? We just arrived. When we arrived, Jenny ran right to Orleans Beach, otherwise known as Nausea Beach. It's around 6 p.m. So most sunbathers have gone home, but you can see the fishermen in the background who will angle until the dark hours. Also, the water seems pretty calm. Jenny has an interesting smile because Tim taking the photo said something funny to make her smile for the camera. Sunset, first day. James has never been to the Cape before. He came along for the getaway before he starts his senior year at college. He wants to work in computer science. Oh, by the way, this is still Nauset Beach heading towards sunset. Here we're at Orleans Beach, right at the sunset. Finally, it's a bit cooler, and we started to cook some hot dogs and hamburgers after a lot of driving. The light is beautiful. As you can see, it's so peaceful and such a great escape from the city. It's hard to settle down and eat, but I guess we are hungry enough. Dean and Megan are wearing relaxed fitting zippered hoodie sweatshirts. Easy to put on and take off, perfect for in between weather, casual from a short shop. This is the Brewster store. It's a famous, very old store and a beautiful winding tree-lined road that travels along the shore through the Cape. The store has all kinds of seashore and country house gifts, souvenirs, and beach things. A lot of the items are vintage as well. Here's Megan on the top floor. She fits right in, don't you think? Megan is wearing her ripped crew neck sweater which is a comfortable, easy fit. And the color looks fresh and gray. Today is August 29th, and Leanne has made it to the Yarmouth boardwalk that stretches out into the marshes as far as the eye can see. It is pretty incredible and the scenery around the walkway is breathtaking. As you walk out further, the seagulls get more active and daring. They own the sky out there. Leanne is wearing her new pink Ashore Shop sweatshirt. This is the Yarmouth boardwalk. Look at this view. The sky meets the land. This is a paradise.
The artist Edward Hopper made Truro famous for painting its long lines of telephone poles and small summer cottages like you see here on the road. It may be quieter than the other Cape Towns. It also might be more flat. It's the last town before Provincetown, the busiest of Cape places. Ellen looks like she was caught off guard. Ellen has a pretty cool heather gray sweater. It's comfortable and cool because of the V-neck opening with the bridge keep enough. Here we are still in Truro. We stopped on our trip to Provincetown at a little grocery store where we grabbed some ice creams and they had um, some picnic tables right by the side of the road. So you can see the great view. It's um, very pretty green hills that lead towards sand dunes and the beach. And we're sort of on the way to Provincetown. Provincetown at last, the end of the Cape. We just arrived and were lucky to find parking. It was a nice drive to Provincetown. We saw a lot of dunes and beach houses and hotels. The Cape is getting busy. Provincetown has many charming homes and quaint streets, galleries and shops. The waterfront, which you can see in the distance, is quite substantial with plenty of activity. Paula is in this picture with her brother, Dan. They met us here in Provincetown. Paula is an art student, so she's headed to the galleries soon enough. The and sister Joni points to one of the hotels on Commercial Street, the main thoroughfare in Provincetown. She did not stay there, but she was a fan of the purple color. Commercial Street has many charming hotels, stores, galleries, and restaurants. Just walking the length of the main street offers enough to see for the entire visit to Provincetown. Joni is wearing her white pullover crew neck nice and bright from a short shop. Provincetown Day 3 Great nautical supply store with mostly vintage items and clothing. You never know what you might find store. It's very large and prices can be very reasonable. You could get lost here. We just like this ship's wheel, but it was too big to take home. Nora has on an oversized sweater from a shore shop. That's nice and roomy. Great for walking around when there is a wisp of cool air off the shore. Hey, hey everyone, that's Priscilla's dog Max who's getting a nice little rest in his little um, doggy bed that was provided for him right outside this nice gallery that Priscilla just visited. Priscilla is interested in the galleries on Commercial Street, of which there are dozens and dozens. She, like Paula, is also an art student, more specifically, though, commercial art. Priscilla is wearing a rust color pullover v-neck sweater dress from a shoe shop. When swimming here with Gary, we're heading to Race Point Beach. We just come point. from Province Town. The end of the Cape. The end of the day. Here we are. We need to find parking.
Jenny's wearing her up-down orange sweatshirt from a shore shop. Pretty cool. Randy the seal is waiting for the fisherman or someone to throw him a fish. He is patient because it's worth it. He is wearing the latest seal style. Nothing. Jenny is happy to be at the Chatham Town Whale Painting Exhibition on the town lawn. The paintings happen to be superb. There are many diverse whale painting styles and scenes. I believe that there may be a charity behind this show. Jenny is wearing a simple solid color hoodie sweatshirt. But the purple color looks great on her. Don't you agree? Leanne is really happy and funny today because all her friends and family came up to Chatham. She also has a new job to look forward to. She's covering one eye because she was trying to look at the paintings that way and then turned around for this photograph. Leanne is wearing the casual but elegant off-white pullover. It's light enough for end of summer, fall, evening wear, and maybe for her new job as well. Nora looks like the village girl here with her star black pullover sweater and the hanging earrings. She's pretty cool looking. This outfit is in here in Chatham or back in the city. Here we are on our way back to Orleans, passing Pleasant Bay. It's really beautiful. Jenny is right above Coast Guard Beach. It's warm, but there is a good wind off the ocean today. So her oversized ribbed sweater is just right. Today, no sunbathing. We're just walking around and biking. That's Megan and her older brother, Tom. Megan is casual. She was playing on the beach all day. Tom is looking cool and collegiate. He just came up to the cave today, and he's ready to go out to dinner. Megan's not so happy about the day ending. Cairo hoodie sweatshirt and button down for Tom. Nice muted colors tonight. Nora is into nature and she's gathering shells, stones, and some already dried beach grass. She's going to draw them or just collect them. Her relaxed fit oversized sweater fits her mood today. That's Tia and James Kite. Though you can't see James, he's trying to get the kite higher. Tia is wearing her new lightweight floral sleeve jacket from a short shop. And she and her jacket are very agile. Oh, we're finally going home. Bye bye, Cape Cod. Oh, there is a bridge again. Bye bye, Cape. We'll miss you.